today on Florida Sport Fishing. Holy cow. I just can't get over how cool looking they are, you know? They've got all those awesome, awesome colors. Just a, a perfect eating machine. Get yourself some of that right there. Ho ho, what on? CB Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing Television for the Avid Angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, there he is, right there, right there. Oh, oh, awesome, dude, that was sick. Oh, another one on, another one on. Ugh. Woo! Nice, that's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing. You know, one of the keys to fishing down here off of South Florida is really having fresh bait, regardless if it's, of course, live bait or strip baits, dead baits. And what we're out here doing today is trying to put together a, a catch of bait. We're looking for bonitas, black fins. I've got my buddy Joe on board here. I've got my buddy Ronnie on board. And we're trolling some small lures right along the edge. We're looking for these bonitas. We use them for swordfish baits. We use them for strip baits, for king mackerel, wahoo, a whole variety of species. And by just trolling this edge here, you can put together a solid catch and they're a lot of fun. Looks like Joe's got another one here. This one happens to be little bullet blackfin tuna. They're gonna be mixed in with the bonitas. Just a really cool little, little bullet there. Hit that little ballyhood jet. So, and that too makes perfect bait for wahoos. So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna throw him on ice. We're gonna get our baits reset here and see if we can get hooked up again. Got another one on here. I'll tell you, catching these bonitas, these football black fins, absolutely awesome. You know, it's really just a great experience for for young anglers, novice anglers. It's a lot of fun. They're easy to catch with little feathers, little trolling plugs. And as I mentioned, what we're trying to do is put together a solid catch. We're gonna be using these fish ultimately for bait. Some of the black fins may end up as a little bit of sushi on the dinner table. I'll tell you, you gotta love catching these little footballs. You know, the, they're members of the tuna family. They're strong fighters on light tackle. Just a great fish, a lot of fun. Middle of the summer, there's not much else going on. So we decided to come out today and try and catch a few of these. I think this is a bonita. And that's a, yep, that one's a bonita. And that one ate a little purple jet right there, a little purple bullet head, a ballyhood tuna taco. That's exactly what that lure is called, Joe, a tuna taco. Tuna taco. Yep. Look, these things are just absolutely awesome. You know, they swim through the water like a bullet. All of their fins just fold in like that, and that makes them perfectly hydrodynamic, and they'll just fly through the water, picking off whatever they can. They're powerhouses. They are powerhouses. They're a lot of fun to catch, aren't they? Yeah. And they're so strong. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 calm down there, big fella. So we're gonna get this guy in the box and get our spread reset, see if we can get hooked up again here real quick. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Ghost, boat security, monitoring, and tracking you can count on. Mr. Ice Machines, your outlet for Manitowoc ice machines. Ballyhood Lures, jets, feathers, and chuggers sold rigged and ready to catch fish. PNR Canvas, custom marine canvas, manufacturing, design, and installation. Fishing Pursuits, visit fishingpursuits.com and go fish the planet. Are you ready to get hooked up? Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, your number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and offshore. Only $30 for three years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com. Enter promo code TV and receive a free shirt and official decal with paid subscription. High performance hulls designed for speed, comfort, and durability. Custom features and accessories designed for every taste. A brilliantly engineered machine designed to catch more fish. 
presenting the remarkable lineup from CB Boats. The secret's out. Start with brine and bite. The only brine that infuses proven bite stimulants into any rigged bait. Procure badass bait dyes are next. And bring Ballyhoo to life with vibrant fluorescent colors. Seal the deal with Procure's new bloody tuna oil and watch your catch ratio soar. Inshore and offshore, Procure bait scents and badass bait dyes keep you hooked up. Find Procure at your favorite dealer or call 800 Procure for a free catalog. Yachtlights.com, everything marine lighting, interior and exterior. Yachtlights.com has it all at the lowest prices. Stylish recessed lights, LED strips, floodlights and deck lights, and the hottest underwater lights from as low as $199. Shop online for free shipping and weekly clearance items or visit our new showroom. When you need marine lighting, you need Yachtlights.com. Tired of outrageous markups? Stingray Fishing Outfitters beats all advertised prices with specials on the finest tournament winning tackle, accessories, and outdoor apparel. Operated by knowledgeable anglers with everything you need for freshwater and saltwater fishing under one roof, ready for immediate delivery. Save big. Shop where the pros shop. Shop at stingraytackle.com. Hey, when you get on these things and they're feeding, it could, literally the action could be nonstop. You're trying to get our baits reset. We couldn't even get them reset. We had one lure out and boom, the thing got crushed. Really cool. Oh yeah, they're beating the water white up there. Beating the water white. How's that one, Joe, a little bit bigger? Yeah. Hey, how long have you been fishing? Pretty much whole, my, my whole life. Your whole life? Yeah, since I was a kid. Oh yeah, well, since you were a kid. <laughs> what are you now, pal? <laughs> Since I was a Since kid, I was he a says. Little kid. Since I was a little kid. Never gets old, right? Nope. Every day is different. Every day is exciting. Everything's different. Every day is different. Everything is different. That's exactly right. Always something new. Always something new. I'll tell you, when I grew up, when I was your age, all my friends were skateboarding and doing all kinds of stuff, and I was out fishing every day. All throughout my teenage years, it certainly kept me out of trouble. Yeah. You know, kids are our future. You guys are, are the future of our sport. You're kind, you know, you need to be conservationists and, oh yeah, look at them go. It's a bonita again. Bonita, all right, it's good. It's what we're looking for. We need these strip baits and these bullets. So it's a little bit bigger. And we want to do, put the rod under your arm, Joe, and keep the rod tip in the water. You don't want to flip that fish up and out of the water. Right there, and then just back up a little bit. All right, there we go. Yeah, that one's a little bit bigger. Yeah. Get some nice strip baits out of that guy. I just can't get over how cool looking they are, you know? They've got all those awesome, awesome colors. Just a, a perfect eating machine, it really is. Awesome camouflage pattern on the back there. So that's really, you know, in, in some states, they call these false albacore, a false albacore. Here in Florida, they call it a bonita. You can't eat these, right? No, they're not edible at all. They really, they've got really dark, bloody, oily meat, and that's really what makes them such a great bait fish. Oh. There we go. Good job, pal. Thanks. You're gonna reel in every fish we hook. By the end of the day, your arms are gonna fall off. Why don't you go throw this guy on ice? Just setting these feathers out here. Go ahead and put your outrigger bait out first. And try and keep that outrigger bait even with this outrigger. Yeah. Holy cow. Keep the water white? Yeah, baby. Full on white water right there. Cool thing about this, Joe, is the nonstop action. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. one fish after another. That's what really makes it so much fun. Mm-hmm. It's another bonita. Yep. Yep. Middle of the summer, you need to catch these when you can. Oh, that's a good one. Back up a little, back up, back up. Oh, that's a fat That's one. a nice one. Yep. Oh. So that's what he's eating. These little tiny yeah. baits like that, little these little minnows. And in turn, they're whacking these little feathers. 
Yeah, just little silver sides. Yep. Light green on top. Fast growing fish. This fish is not even a year old. I mean, they just, they never stop moving, never stop eating. A lot of fun. Ronnie, go ahead and push them back up and we'll get the spread set. What we're doing is just putting out a spread of feathers and we're mimicking a school of these little minnows that are just scattering up on the surface. You know, and just the same size lure, that's really what's key. We're keeping it consistent. We're trolling at about 10 knots, keeping these things racing through the water. We got the shotgun is out there as well. Put another one flat right here behind the boat, right in the white water. Don't think you need to troll these way, way back there because you certainly don't. Oh, did you see that one come up and crush it? Oh, that was sick. There you go, nice. Keep going, a little more, a little more. See if we can double up here. A little more. And that thing jumped off Dude, in the air. That? that was yeah. awesome. I saw him come up and just crush that bait. That was really, really cool. Yeah. Good job. You have, Obviously, you had set that in the perfect place. Yeah. I'll tell you, just an absolutely perfect tactic for a steaming hot summer day. The dolphin fishing is hit or miss. We've got a full moon right now. So it's just a great opportunity to come out here and catch all of the bait that you need for the season. There you go, you got him coming now. Yeah. Keeping his head up. And you, you know, you're doing the right thing. You're bringing that rod up, short pumps. You're not bringing the rod too high because you don't want to bring it you know, straight vertical. The rod wasn't designed to be used that way. So you bring it right to the 10, 11 o'clock position like you're doing, couple of cranks. Lift up, shore pumps, doing a great job. Oh yeah, you see more of them up on top. Oh yeah, look at them right here. Look at the white water right here. Wow. Look at them, that's them right there, just crushing the baits. Right on the edge of that weed line, they're picking off all of that little prey, all those little sardines and those little silver sides are trying to hide in that grass. That's where all of those fish are just picking them off right there. Gear Guide, brought to you by Pelagic, high performance offshore gear. While modern four stroke outboards are powerful and efficient, even the most sophisticated engines are useless without controls, with the latest trend going digital. Digital controls make use of sensors and wires to transmit commands to the engine's computer. Only a single wiring harness is required for each engine, making installation as simple as plug and play. A digital control system can easily be networked to accommodate multiple helm stations. Smartcraft controls, like those aboard our Mercury-powered CV, deliver precise and smooth throttle and shift operation, similar to modern aviation technology. Push the levers forward and the engines engage with immediate and impressive throttle response that never fluctuates, making boating easier and more intuitive while delivering a superior, more enjoyable experience. Single engine control boxes feature one lever, while multiple engine configurations require dual levers. With triple outboards, when both levers are engaged in the same direction, all three engines respond simultaneously. When only one lever is shifted into gear, or when both levers are shifted in opposite directions, only the corresponding outboard engine engages while the center engine remains in neutral. Smartcraft also provides the option of controlling multiple engines with a single lever. Additionally, engine trim, throttle-only operation, helm station transfer, and the ability to govern RPM output for both trolling and docking applications can all be activated by the push of a button. Digital gauges revealing speed, RPM, a multitude of engine sensors, fuel burn, and estimated range help maximize efficiency and complete a modern digital control system. Gear Guide, brought to you by Pelagic. High performance offshore gear. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Sea Sucker. Mount anything, anywhere with no tools and no holes. Saltwater Assassin Lures. Soft plastic go to baits for every fish in every venue. New Ice. Maximize cooler performance with New Ice eco friendly freezer packs. Skeleton Fish. Wearable art. Select your trophy and receive free shipping at skeletonfish.com. Crystal Reels, power and versatility, setting the standard with all-in-one electric fishing reels. 
Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. No, another one on, another one on. Three on, baby. <laughs> With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod, your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing Gear Matters. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart water, Navnet TZ Touch. Scent Blazer is changing fishing forever. This revolutionary new trolling lure looks, sounds, smells, tastes, and swims like a real fish. The advantage is in the patented detachable bait chamber, loaded with bait weights, lights, rattles, and more. As it's trolled, water enters the lure and passes over the bait inside, leaving a trail of scent and bait pieces behind. Get more strikes, get more fish, get Scent Blazer. For more information and to find your nearest retailer, visit scentblazer.com. 100, 500, 1,000. How much money are you wasting on melted ice and thawed bait? Frigid Rigid keeps ice and bait frozen for 10 days. Built to withstand everyday use, 25 sizes up to 525 quarts means there's a Frigid Rigid cooler, refrigerator, or tackle center just for you. The boat may have burnt down, but the ice and chum stayed frozen. Frigid Rigid, 800-643-1988 or visit frigidrigid.com for a dealer near you. Got them on, Joe? Yep. Nice. Hey, welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing. We're hooked up again here. We're just on a hot uh, Bonita bite right here. Just off of Boca is actually where we are. We're in about 100 feet of water. The fish are just beating the water white. Really, really exciting fishing. We're loading up our box with bait. We've got Joe on the rod here. His arms are about to fall off. I don't even know how many of this is. I've absolutely it's lost like count. like over seven. Or eight. Seven or eight in a row that you're on. And it's just getting warmed up. Uh, they're up in front of us as well. I see a pod. I see another pod working over here to the left. Just trolling a spread of little feathers. And it's working, you know, just a lot of fun on a summer day, I'll tell you. Hey, while Joe's fighting this fish, stick around. We're going to check out our rigging station, take a really close look at the tackle that we're fishing today. And we'll get this fish up here for Joe. Rigging station. Brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, the most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. I wanted to talk to you real quick about the tackle that we're fishing today. We're out here catching bonitas, loading a box with bonitas for fresh bait. We use them for everything from uh, swordfish strip baits. Uh, we catch king mackerel on fresh bonita strips and certainly you can catch snappers and groupers on the fresh bonita and they're all over the place. Just a really exciting fishery in the summertime here. Uh, we're in about 80 to 120 foot of water right off the Boca Raton area. We're fishing some seven foot chaos rods, some pretty basic stuff, conventional outfits loaded with 20 and 30 pound high catch in the smoke gray color. The lures that we're fishing are little ballyhood jets and feathers, just small baits, little three, four inch baits. We've got some Tuna tacos, they're called, and some little peanuts that are even a little bit smaller. And the, these bonitas here are just keyed in on these small little silver sides and these small minnows that they're chasing. So you want to fish small baits when those fish are chasing those little baits. Pretty basic stuff. We're fishing a seven or eight rod spread. We've got some baits off the outriggers. We've got a shotgun bait way down the middle, a couple of flat lines. We're seeing the fish up on the surface, trolling by the perimeter of them, and boom, 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 hooking up every time. You can do this with spinning outfits. You can do this with some heavier conventional gear. You certainly don't need any sort of specialized tackle. Uh, light tackle is really, really fun for these fish. If you want to scale it down to 12-pound or 15-pound test, you certainly can do that as well. So get yourself set up with some small lures, get out here, troll up and down the coast during the summertime, and you'll have a ball catching these bonitas. Rigging Station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, the most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. There you go, that's a nice one, Joe. All right, good job. 
So that one ate an orange feather. You know, it's funny, you don't see any baits that are bright orange, but it's just that contrast in the water, you know? They, mm -hmm. they see that the shade, they see that contrast in the water, and they just crush that thing. Something different. Something different, yep. So what we're gonna do is switch a few of these feathers over. Some of these tuna tacos are about four or five inches, and it looks like these baits, these bonitas, are on really small baits, little two-inch baits. So we're gonna try and match the hatch a little bit better with some uh, little ballyhood peanuts. That's what these are called. Really small. See if this makes a difference. Right there, there's one. Got it? Yep. Okay, just keep going here. Nice. If we can get another one to bite. Joe here is a good friend of mine, neighbor, avid fisherman. It's always a pleasure having them out on the boat. We switched over. That one still crushed one of these little, these little feathers, but we put some smaller baits in the water because as you can see from the ones we were catching, they were spitting up those little minnows. So we really want to try and match the hatch as much as possible. They get keyed in, you know, they get focused in on that bait that they're eating, and then if something odd comes by, sometimes they won't touch it. Or sometimes they will. And sometimes they will, that's right. Like right now. Ronnie, you're doing a great job. Got another one of my friends, Ronnie, up on the wheel. Me and Ronnie go back, what, 25, maybe 30 years. Ronnie's generally good luck, but we're certainly gonna have plenty of bait. Plenty of strip baits for swordfish, plenty of chunk baits that you can use bottom fishing for grouper, snapper. We're shark fishing, we rig whole bonita. All right, good job. Got another one on here, another one in the boat. All right, and you can see these fish are all around us. They're busting right behind the boat here. And that's what it is. It's just little five pound bonitas, exactly what we're looking for. We're out here trying to catch these, trying to load our freezer for bait. And it's so important here in Florida, in South Florida, fresh bait is key. It's absolutely key to successful fishing. And certainly you can buy bonita strips. Hey, calm down, big fella. You can buy bonita strips, but you're never gonna get them as fresh as if you make them yourself or bonita chunks. So we're gonna put this entire fish to good use. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Dio Reels, advancing the sport of fishing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Rodan, precision GPS guided trolling motors. Fortress Marine Anchors, stronger, faster, lighter. Closed captioning provided by BoatInsuranceFlorida.com. Save 50%. Bionic Bait is the largest ballyhoo producer in the world, serving anglers for 25 years. We offer 100 varieties of bait for every type of saltwater fishing. Bionic Ballyhoo are exclusively caught and brined aboard our own boats in the Florida Keys. Within 24 hours, they're vacuum packed, flash frozen, and shipped in our own fleet of freezer trucks. Dedicated to excellent customer service, no one works harder to ensure your baits produce. Whether you're after a fresh fish dinner or a tournament winning marlin, fish prefer Bionic Bait. Right now we're burning about 8.5. I can't do this on Miami. We're burning about 27.3 uh, an hour for a full throttle. It's extremely impressive. Burning 29 dollars an hour. I'd be burning close to 40 with my Yamahas. Dude, I'm speechless. To discover the Verado difference, find a local dealer at mercurymarine.com slash Verado. Then take a test drive and experience it for yourself. It's unbelievable. So we're just setting up a pattern here. We've just got our lures back out. We've got pods of fish busting right up on the top. White water, and what we're trying to do is just troll along the perimeter of these fish. We don't want to go through them. We want to go right on the outskirts, and every time we go by them, boom. They're going crazy up here. There's more of them over there. Just do a big circle right around them. We'll get them to eat but real easy on the turns, you know, nice wide turns. Got some birds working as well. Shotgun's on. Good job. All right, go ahead and pull back the throttles, Ron. What we like to do when we hook a fish is we keep the boat moving forward, you know, and sometimes you can turn that one bite into two bites, into three bites. 
by just keeping the boat moving forward and keeping your yeah. lures moving forward. That was on one of those little peanuts. Yeah, Sometimes, it's a bigger like one. I said, yep, that's a bigger one? Yeah. Look at that, absolutely devoured that bait. He it's got the hook. the hook way down in there. It's got that mouth, sharp little teeth, little teeth on the top as well. And he just crushed it. That's a nice one. Get some nice strips out of him. Three on. That's what we want right here. Came across a school, finally a cooperative school. We hook three here. That's a cool thing about coming out here catching these bonitas when you get on them thick, multiple hookups like this. A lot of fun. Well, I'll tell you what, Joe, we had an absolutely awesome day. The bites definitely slow down now. We're getting into the afternoon and not surprising when that sun gets high in the sky like that, generally all fishing slows down in the dead heat of the summer. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but it was good while it lasted. You know, we had some good hot and heavy action. I had a couple goals today. Wanted to come out and fill a box with some bonitas for bait. Wanted to put you on some action. And it was good there for a while. You were reeling them in one after the other. Yeah. You know, we had Ronnie on the boat. Ronnie did a great job on the wheel. Put us on the meat. Joey's awesome having you on the boat. Thank you. So let's keep going here. See if we can get a couple more bites and wrap up this day. We'll see you next week. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.